Hello, my name's Jake, and I'm about to show you some of Lanzarote's best places to stay. So, in no particular order, here we go. Punta Mujeres. The gorgeous Punta Mujeres is a coastal village on the northeast coast of the island, full of small, traditional white buildings. And when a village is not only by the coast, but also this pretty, and it has major tourist attractions, you'd think that it would feel more touristy, but it really doesn't. Like, it's got a really small village, local kind of authentic feel, and I really love that. Most buildings have pretty terraces and balconies reaching to make the most of those beautiful views out to sea. Historically a fishing village, the small streets and alleyways all seem to lead you to the sea. Perhaps Punta Mujeres' biggest draw, though, is the natural bathing pools. Filled with seawater and protected by huge breakwaters of naturally occurring rocks, Swim in these pools at the right time of day and you'll get to experience the sea waves smashing against them to make huge plumes and sprays. You won't find white sand here. The beach at Punta Mujeres has a different beauty. The beach at Punta Mujeres is beautiful in its own way. You know, it's not white sand, it's sort of like dark black rocks and white waves smashing up against them. And it's a really great place to see but maybe it's not the perfect beach if you're thinking of having a swim. Just minutes away from popular attractions like Hemeos del Agua and Cueva de los Verdes, Punta Mujeres is the perfect place to stay if you're looking for a lovely mix of nearby things to do, but also tranquil isolation. Puerta del Carmen. Somewhere definitely not so isolated is Puerta del Carmen, probably the best known resort town on the island. At just 10 minutes from the airport, it's the perfect place to explore the island from. Really, it's got all of the comforts you'd expect from a resort town. It's got restaurants, bars, clubs, nice beaches, and what we think is really the gem, a nice little fishing port as well. It's called El Varadero, and you can see lots of little leisure boats moored up there. It's a really lovely place to go for a nice wander. Puerta del Carmen stretches for six kilometers along the coastline, so be sure to check exactly where you're planning on staying to get the most out of your location. But make no mistake, wherever you stay, you're going to have everything you need, just a stone's throw away. The shape of the island of Lanzarote means that facing out from Puerto del Carmen here, you can see some of the island in the background behind me, which is also where the sun sets. So you get this really lovely orange glow over the mountains. Like many resort towns, Puerto del Carmen is full of energy. Restaurants, bars, nightlife, you name it. But in exchange, you do lose a little of the authenticity you might find in a smaller town. Teguise. If you're looking for authenticity, then look no further than Teguise, the oldest Spanish settlement in the whole of the Canaries, dating back to 1402. It's located slightly inland, but still very close to lots of attractions and coastal areas, making it a perfect home base if you've hired a car and want to see as much of the island as possible. So this main town of Teguise is known as La Villa. It's just referred to as La Villa. Teguise is the region or Costa Teguise, the tourism-y place down by the beach. But this is a lot more um, quaint and local and it's just got a lot more relaxed kind of feel to it. There are few hotels and not many organized tours stop here. This makes for hushed streets and squares that perfectly preserve the past. But don't mistake the quiet for isolation. This town hosts the island's biggest street market every Sunday. Also, up on the peak of the extinct volcano overlooking the town, you'll find the fortress Castillo Santa Barbara, home to the Pirate Museum. If you're interested, you can learn more about the Pirate Museum in our Lanzarote travel guide. Costa Teguise. Just a 15-minute drive towards the sea, away from the peaks that surround Teguise, is Lanzarote's third largest resort, Costa Teguise. Teguise and Costa Teguise have nearly only a name in common. Costa Teguise is a resort town in every sense of the word. You want for nothing here. There's hotels, bars, restaurants, beaches, the whole lot. It's so well equipped that you're never going to be more than 10 minutes walk away from anything you could want. Costa Teguise is a purpose-built resort town, taking shape in the 1970s as a upmarket alternative to Puerta del Carmen and became very popular with German and Scandinavian tourists during the 1980s. Many excursions to the island's most popular things to do depart from Costa Teguise. The seafront promenade will walk you past all five of the main beaches and the sunset views here are just as fantastic as Puerta del Carmen. 
And there you have it, some of the best places to stay in Lanzarote. If you found this video useful, please do give us a like below, or if it wasn't so useful, or if we missed somewhere that you really love, then let us know in the comments, because we would love to hear about it. If you're planning a trip to Lanzarote, I'd really recommend you watch our Lanzarote travel guide, full of loads of information to make sure you get the most out of the island, and it's a really, really great island. So please feel free to subscribe to our channel, it's full of loads of helpful travel videos, and I will see you next time.